Well, if you've noticed it getting harder or taking longer to snag a doctor's appointment, you're not alone. Yeah, a physician shortage in Hawaii is worsening. So what's being done to help? Gina Mangieri is always investigating. Hawaii's doctor shortage is already very severe for the number of doctors we have for the population our size. And it's even worse in places like the neighbor islands or even areas of rural Oahu where there are very few physicians in certain specialties. Some areas have no access without flying even over to Oahu for care. We are starting to look into what is driving this physician shortage. And here's what some of the experts had to say about some of the main factors. We've seen the retirement age get, you know, lower and lower, um, in part because of these uncertainties in payment transformation, electronic health workers. If you take out the number of physicians who are 65 years or older, the gaps widen tremendously. So if so many older doctors are choosing to leave the profession, what's being done to bring newer doctors into the business? Well, medical school is one of the most expensive degrees you can get. Here at the University of Hawaii John A. Burns School of Medicine, they're trying to make a big difference. Nearly a third of a recent class had full ride scholarships. They're hoping to do more to make it one of the most affordable medical degrees around. And that is a big help, especially for a young doctor who's going to have to afford rent in Hawaii like the rest of us. We're looking into what other kinds of solutions are out there to keep the doctors we have, attract the new doctors, and try to make a dent in fixing the severe doctor shortage. All of this and more is on tonight at 10 on Always Investigating. Back to you.